from Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking. Today I'm going to bring to you uh, something I like making now and then. Um, I grew up eating this. My mom used to make this all the time. And actually the recipe I'm sharing with you today isn't actually my mom's. Hers was good and hers was actually based off uh, the Amish community around us and uh, also my grandmother used to make this. But I have found a recipe I like a little bit better and that's actually from uh, Lori Fogg who has a cold cracker in the kitchen blog. Uh, for those that don't know, a cold cracker was um, a miner here in the uh, coal region and she comes from on a stock uh, here in the Skook, Schuylkill County and uh, her recipe is really good. I actually like hers. Hers is a little bit amped up. Uh, PA Dutch recipes that I grew up with and that the Amish have is a little bit more simple uh, with basically the apple cider vinegar and sugar, salt, pepper, just a couple things. Lori amps it up a little bit with some bacon and some brown sugar and a couple other things that you owe in cloves. Um, we really like cloves here in the region. I, I love them but it's in a lot of the food around here. So anyhow, I'm making her version today. She has a terrific blog. I'll include the link to her blog uh, down below. Check it out. She basically has done with a blog what I've done with my channel here on YouTube. So uh, some of our stuff overlaps. Some of it's a little different. Uh, we have a little bit, we're just about an hour apart. Um, 40, well, she actually's moved out to Jonestown, PA now. Um, but she was here about 45 minutes uh, south of me. So she grew up in the region with all most of the same stuff I did. I think I have a little more Dutchy, where she might have a little more cold region Polish, but it's all the same. So check her out. I'll include the link, and uh, we're making her sweet and sour uh, German cabbage. It's PA Dutch German sweet and sour cabbage. Sweet and sour is very popular among PA Dutch dishes. Uh, so this is just one of many, just like uh, making sour broth. So I'm pairing it with a, uh, a beef roast today, but uh, it's great with pork chops, pork roasts. I mean, there's never a bad place for a good sweet and sour red cabbage. So let's get to it. Okay, for the ingredients. Bacon. Of course, the red cabbage. Um, apple cider vinegar, an apple, onion, regular sugar, brown sugar, uh, white wine vinegar, a little salt, and a little cloves, and a little pepper. And I almost forgot, today is a cast iron Wednesday! So uh, make sure that you uh, check out all the other folks that are in cast iron Wednesday like Dan's Outdoor Cooking, Strong's Adventures, Shovelhead 8, and its creator Native Tears. And I'm a proud member of the cast iron crew. One other note, we are going to finely chop the apple and the onion and very thinly slice and shred the uh, cabbage. So for the first step, bacon. We're going to put our bacon in and get that fried off here. And of course this is good bacon from Mossers. we we'll get that wonderful bacon goodness going. While the bacon is frying, we're going to do the next step. While the bacon is cooking, we're going to add our apple cider vinegar and both of our sugars and mix this into the cabbage really well until the sugars are basically dissolved. This will get the cabbage coated really, really good. And you don't want to, you'll know it's dissolved when you don't really see any um, grain, any granular sugar. This also helps break all the cabbage together, um, better apart. I didn't use a food processor or grinder. I like doing this actually by hand, a little coarser, a little coarser chop. And just keep mixing this till it's all coated and dissolved in. 
Okay, our bacon is done, so I'm going to remove this uh, to drain. Onto a plate here. And that'll get cool and diced then to go in the dish later. And next we're going to add our onion and our apple. That will take almost no time at all to cook in that little bit of fat. Plus we have the drippings here. So we're going to let that saute a minute. Okay, this has been on about five minutes. It looks all nice and tender. I need to translucent. it. Now I want you to just look at the cabbage quick. You see how you don't see any granular uh, evidence of the sugar? That means it's all dissolved in and it's nice and shiny. We're going to add that now to our Dutch. And I'm going to add half a cup of water. We're going to bring it to a boil. And after we bring it to a boil, after we bring this to a boil, then I'm going to drop it down to a simmer for about half an hour. So let's check our cabbage. Ooh. Oh wow, that smells good. That's getting nice and tender. So I'm going to add in um, a little bit of salt there, a little bit of cloves, a little bit of pepper, and red wine vinegar. Give that a good mix. The uh, bacon will go at the end on the top. And then I'm going to replace the lid and let this simmer for about another 10 minutes. Okay, she's ready to go. So I'm going to uh, dish her up and put my uh, bacon bits on top and uh, we'll give her a try. Okay, you know what time it is. It's taste test time. So, here's the cabbage. You can see it there a little bit. And I paired it with some roast beef and carrots and mashed potatoes for the whole meal. Got the little bit of bacon sprinkled on top. Oh man. I love that sweet and sour taste. Like I said, there's a couple more basic recipes out there. She adds a little bit more dimension to it, but the, that classic sweet and tar, sour taste is a very PA Dutch German dish thing and something that most of us, I think, grew up with around here. I know my mom always made it. Mm. And I can sit down and eat this all day long. And it's a cheap meal. It's easy to make. And uh, it really tastes good left over, and even like the next day, the juices all go through it. Mm. So good. Try it with some sour broth. Mm. So, that was Cast Iron Wednesday. PA Dutch Sweet and Sour Red Cabbage. This recipe was Lori Fogg's over at Cool Cracker Kitchen. Check her out. I'm going to include her link down below. Tell her I sent you. She has a lot of great stuff in some of her uh, blog entries, like this week. She had about polkas here in the in the coal region. Um, that is something really intrinsic here. And I actually grew up with my grandparents uh, out of the Buffalo Station would play polkas every Saturday night at eight o'clock. And my grandfather and I used to dance around the living room um, to a good polka. So. You know, that's a lot of history around here. Check her out. She includes a lot of the history like I do, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, try the uh, sweet and sour red cabbage, and get out and use your cast iron. Like, subscribe, and join me next time here in Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking.